Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. Today's video is about an important and an easy topic, fluids. Before entering into the topic, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel. Let's get into the session. When we say fluids, we often come across more common words, hypertonic solutions, hypotonic solutions, and isotonic solutions. In this video, we are going to discuss about them in detail so that after the video you get a clear knowledge and will be able to differentiate one from another in future. Hypertonic, isotonic and hypotonic solutions come under one category called crystalloids. Crystalloids are fluids made up of water and electrolyte solution that can cross the semi-permeable membrane. Let's look one by one in detail. First comes hypotonic solution. As the name suggests, hypotonic solution has a lower solute concentration than another solution. By placing hypotonic solution and the concentrated solution closer, fluids from hypotonic shifts to the concentrated solution to equalize the concentration. Example of hypotonic solution is half normal saline that is 0.45% normal saline. What does hypotonic solution contains and what does it do? Hypotonic solution has less salt or more water than an isotonic solution. It provides sodium, chloride and free water. It contains 77 milli equivalent per liter of sodium and 77 milli equivalent per liter of chloride that is 154 milli osmos per liter. Hypotonic solution helps in shifting of fluids from intravascular portion to intracellular and interstitial spaces. Hence, it hydrates the cells causing them to swell. Each of these solutions, either hypotonic, hypertonic or isotonic should be administered cautiously because all of these solutions have their own effects when limitations exceed. For example, in hypotonic solution, the shifts of fluid from vascular system into cells can result in cardiovascular collapse and increased intracranial pressure. Next comes isotonic solutions. No fluid shifts occur between isotonic solution and the other solution because the concentrations are equal. Example of isotonic solution is 0.9% sodium chloride. What does isotonic solution provide and what does it do? Isotonic solution have the same osmolality as body fluids. It increases the extracellular fluid volume. Isotonic solutions contain electrolytes such as sodium chloride, potassium chloride, calcium chloride and sodium lactate. Normal saline generally contains sodium 154 milli equivalent per liter and chloride 154 milli equivalent per liter that is 308 milli osmols per liter. Other examples may be Ringer lactate or Hartmann's solution and D5 water. Isotonic solution causes no shifting of fluids. It only increases the extracellular fluid volume. Isotonic solutions should be used cautiously in patients who are fluid overloaded or who would be compromised if vascular volume may increase in cases like renal and cardiac patients. Let's have a look on the examples of isotonic solutions and in cases where it is used. Normal saline is used in cases of extracellular fluid deficits with low serum levels of sodium or chloride and metabolic acid based imbalances. It is used before or after the infusion of blood products. Lactated ringer solution is used in cases of fluid loss from burns, bleeding and dehydration or diarrhea. D5 water is used in cases to replace deficits of total body water. Now comes hypertonic solution. As the name suggests, it has a higher solute concentration than another solution. And hence, by placing two solutions together, fluid shifts from the less concentrated solution to the hypertonic solution. 
Example of hypertonic solution is 3% sodium chloride. What does hypertonic solution provides and what does it do? Hypertonic solutions are concentrated solutions and they have a higher osmolality than the body fluids. They cause movement of water from cells into the extracellular fluid by the process of osmosis. They are also called volume expanders because water moves out of the intracellular space increasing the extracellular fluid volume. It causes dehydration of the cells causing shrinkage. Hypertonic solution provides 513 milli equivalent per liter of sodium and 513 milli equivalent per liter of chloride otherwise 1026 milli osmols per liter. Hypertonic solutions are administered slowly and cautiously because it can cause phlebitis, necrosis and hemolysis, intravascular volume overload and pulmonary edema. This is all regarding hypertonic, isotonic and hypotonic solutions. If you find this video useful, please like it and please subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.